so it's always the best to just play someone you know similar to your level oh my god what is that oh she's got the brat along bro <laughs> That's crazy. That was good bait. Oh, good bait. Okay. I gotta get used to that. She has... That's like a whole mix-up. She can just grab you. Go for a mid-kick or punch. High punch or low punch. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Forgot about that button. That's fast and it closes the gap so like so well and it does good damage too. I guess it's pretty punishable but in that scenario is pretty good. Stay alive. I see what you did there. <laughs> it was my last. It was my last resort. Got my life into pieces. Tight beat. God, that beat me. No! Okay. Oof, okay. That was close. Do you never go for get up attack? <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I guess that's a good habit. It's just I'm not used to that. <laughs> After getting bodied by pros, yeah, I feel. You learn get up attacks are just free damage, yeah. Even though, like, honestly, though, I just always go for them, though. It's just like a habit, I feel like. Because, like, even fighting, like, really high level players. I don't know. I feel like sometimes it catches them off guard more than more often than not. Like maybe like the first time anyway. But once you do it more than once it's like But the thing is though, for me like most of the time like the high level players they just steamroll me. So it's just kind of like it's just kind of like, uh, 
doing that is like the only thing to do to just like stop their pressure. That grab was too far, bro. Oh my god. Good sidestep. You mix it up at the end. That was nice. Hey, no hard feelings. I'm giving this all I got. Hugging is super effective. Bro, I wish I want her to hug me like that, bro. Oh. Same. <laughs> oh, nice. Damn. Oh, no. That was big damage. Unblockable. That was a good mix up. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oof. I feel like it was a scramble at the end there. We were both trying to mix up. <laughs> but, uh... You know? That's that's what happens, I guess. I'll change costumes. I'm still like, getting used to the way I play. Maybe. I feel like Honoka just has so many options though, like... So many unblockables, this and that. That's all I'm really trying to get used to. Cause like... I'm just like so like... When she just does stuff, I'm like damn. What all can she do? I think, I think most characters in this game have like so many tools that they can do. Like even Mila, you know, she has a command grab. She has, uh, you know, a lot of like different strikes to where like, like every character in this game's move list is very like, very abundant and pretty diverse. Like, I feel like. Just every direction plus a button does something different, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so every character feels very like like they have a lot to to do and to learn. I think right. so. Like fighting those characters, like it's just sometimes it's like stupid annoying. Like a character does something you have never seen before, and you're like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Like, they just, did they just pull that out of their ass, or like, you know? Like, it's bad enough Brad Wong exists in this game. But then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Marie Rose has, like, some dumb shit, and then it's like, what, what, what were, like, when did this happen, you know? Oh, nice. Just enough. That's what I like about the game, lots of combos. Yeah. Yeah, nice. There's the ground pound. Oh, the grabs whiffed. Just beat that. I forgot about that. Get the okay. No, I tried to sidestep it. It's all right.
Oh my god, that still hit. God damn. I crossed myself up on the other side. Like on the... When I got up from that, I was like, oh shit. I'm on the other side. The other thing about this game is that, like, um, is that, uh, you know, every game, or every, the hold mechanic makes it to where every combo is kind of not true, in a way, so. Like you can see like combo videos of, of this game and like none of those really matter because you can just hold anything pretty much because like I realized like when I was trying to play when I was playing against like really high level uh, players that like I found and like they're like oh want to play some games or whatever like all the fancy stuff that I was trying to go for they they would always just hold it so then it was kind of like I can't do anything like crazy. So then I realized like mid game, like I felt like I felt like uh going for the simpler stuff was actually much more effective because well for for me it used less brain power and I feel like it was just like you know, guaranteed damage in a way as opposed to like Knowing that, like, okay, this combo might do a lot, but I will probably get held out of it, you know? Damn. Yeah, that guard breaks. No. Ah, oh, how did the grab whiff? She's so adorable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Break blow's kind of broken. Good punish. See what I mean? It's like it comes down to like the last. I turn my back. <laughs> comes down to like the last hit each time. It's nice. Well, most times. Sometimes I just get mauled. This is nice though, because I actually get to play the game. I feel like playing ranked sometimes. I don't know. You just get. Like, I don't know. Sometimes matches don't come or whatever for like a while. And then, I don't know. It's just weird. That's why, like, I think the best way definitely to play. Um. Or, like, especially for me streaming, because I feel like streaming ranked, that's like if I were to stream Elite Smash, like, playing Smash, like, it's not really, like, I'm sure people would like to see that, but at the same time, it's kind of frustrating, you know? Whereas, if I just play, like, against someone in chat or whatever, like, it's chill, like, I actually get to play the game more instead of waiting around a lot of times, and, like... You know, I know what I'm getting into. I'm not getting, like, a bad connection every so often with ranked. And, like, I 